Welcome to Language with Liza. And today, you and I, or is it you and me, are going to tackle, I think it's you and I, me? Dang it. Welcome to Language with Liza. And today, I'm going to put straight once and for all whether you should use you and I or you and me. The answer is this. Examine whether you are using the subjective form or the objective form as they relate to compound noun phrases. This is why people with really good language backgrounds screw this up all the time. Shakespeare even got it wrong in his plays. I'd like to offer a different approach. Let's call it the Chinese takeaway method. You, wherever you are right now, are going to have Chinese takeaway tonight, and you've invited me. We would then say, you and I are going to have Chinese takeaway. Why not you and me? Takeaway. If I take you out of the sentence, it still has to make sense. I'm going to have Chinese takeaway. Makes sense. Me going to have Chinese takeaway does not. In any case involving you and me or you and I, the sentence still has to make sense when you take away the you. But it's never okay to say you and me. Wrong. We are picking up Chinese takeaway. You say, get the receipt for you and me. Correct. When you take away you, it reads, get the receipt for me. If you had said, get the receipt for you and I, taking away you would say, get the receipt for I. As long as your sentence is correct, with both the you in place and when it is taken away, you and I have nothing to worry about. Except, don't end a sentence with about. Dang it! Next up in Language with Liza, the 27th letter of the alphabet. What? 